Welcome back. It is day six of the How to Lose a Client in Seven Days, Seven Day Challenge. And uh, today I'm just going to be talking about word of mouth because, um, and how this fits into the How to Lose a Client um, isn't necessarily again about how to lose a client. This is, um, uh, we can also use that phrase to think about any partnerships we've got, any activities that we, we think we're thinking about doing within our business, um, or anything that's going to take up a certain amount of our time that isn't going to allow us to achieve or reach our full potential. Word of mouth is really important and it's something which um, we all know happens as we get better at what we do. Pretty much all of you are going to be what we call market experts. So you are you are experts in whatever it is that you do. So that, um, that, that core pillar, delivery, you are an expert at delivering what you do. So that's market experts. All of you are market experts within your business, but there are other people which we need around us in order to um, make the most of word of mouth marketing that's out there. So um, one of those things isn't just about necessarily delivering your products really well, but also owning your space, be seen as that expert authority figure. Um, but once you've achieved that, there are two other influencers um, or people that you need around you. Um, and I call them salespeople and social connectors. So salespeople, so this is why large organizations have a sales team because they go out there and they do the sales and marketing for you and you don't have to worry too much about, um, you know, that's a department that does that. However, you can have some, build some great relationships and partners, partnerships within your business of people who may never buy from you, but they're your biggest fans and they tell everybody about what you do. And nurturing those relationships is worthwhile investing some time and, um, time and energy into um, because they save you the time of, um, basically you can just get out to more people. The social connectors as well um, are, are really, really important people because again, you're not hu um, you are human, you're not a robot, which means that you can't do everything yourself. And so um, you can become a social connector. You can also have other social connectors around you. I've chosen to become a social connector so that if anybody wants anything to do with business, typically that there is somebody out there who I know I can say, go and speak to this person or go and speak to that person. But it's useful to have other people around you who are also social connectors because if your network isn't working for you or as well as you want it to do, you can reach out to other people's networks and say, hey, do you know so-and-so? Do you know somebody who might be able to do this for me? So. Typically, and you can take on different roles and responsibilities within this. If you're, if you're a solopreneur working on your own, you may end up having to be a salesperson, a social connector, and a market expert, you know, all three of them. But in terms of like um, uh, how this fits in with how to lose a client in seven days, this is really about knowing um, which people to pull in around you. Because we can get really busy basically having coffee with absolutely everybody who comes along. Um, so this now isn't just clients. Obviously, I encourage you to go and have consultations and coffee with prospects. But when it comes to other people, salespeople, social connectors, and other experts within your industry, you can be forever having coffee with no real clear objective or idea about what your goal is of having all of these meetings with people. I see it so often. And so, again, this goes back to what I was talking about, uh, what a, a comment I made in the production line, slow down to speed up. So you need to slow down those coffee meetings and think a bit more strategically about who it is that you're meeting and whether they fit in with your plan for your business and having the power to say no to those people who aren't really fitting that. And your business is going to change over, over time. So it might be that there may have been somebody you're working with over a period of time that now you've got to say, do you know what, actually I need to cut them loose. I've invested a lot of time and energy and maybe some money into this person. It hasn't bought me the results I want. They're a nice person, but I have got to just say no to them and stop doing that. If, they don't, if they're not bringing you clients, if they're not connecting with the right, people, right number of people, and they're not allowing you to be an expert within their um, their network, you've got to push them to one side and focus your energy on where you are going to get results. So that is how to create word of mouth um, uh, marketing for your business. That's day six of the how to lose a client in seven days, seven day challenge. And I will uh, make sure you download the worksheet. So uh, the worksheet will be very simple. So we'll just talk, look at um, whether you perceive yourself to be a market expert, what salespeople do you have around you in your network, and who are the social connectors perhaps within your network and how they help you. Um, and then I will see you for the final day. We're almost there, the final day, day seven of the seven day challenge.